Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how are solving inequalities different than solving equations? And how do I solve one step inequalities? So inequalities are going to follow the same steps as solving equations. The only difference is that we have to flip the inequality sign if we multiply or divide by a negative number. So just because a negative number is involved doesn't mean you'll automatically flip it. The number that you are multiplying or dividing by has to be a negative. And remember the steps for solving equations or inequality is to isolate the variable with inverse operations. So if you have addition, you'll undo it with subtraction, or if you have subtraction, you'll undo it with addition. And then multiplication, you undo with division, division, you undo with multiplication. And just remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality sign. All right, so let's look at one through eight. We are going to solve these inequalities with inverse operations, and then we will graph those solution sets. So let's look at number one. I have x plus eight is greater than 21. So I need to undo that eight by subtracting eight. And I get x, that zeros out, is greater than 21 minus eight is 13. So now I'm going to graph this solution set, x is greater than 13. By placing 13 in the middle, 12 is right below it and 14 is right above it, I'm going to have an open circle on 13 since it's just greater than, and then I need to figure out which way to shade. Is it 12 that's greater than 13 or 14? It is 14, so we're gonna shade towards 14. Okay, number two, I have negative four X is greater than negative 32. So to get X isolated, I'm going to divide by a negative four. And since I'm dividing by a negative, I'm going to flip the inequality sign. So I get X is less than negative eight. So now I need to graph this, X is less than negative eight. So negative eight will go in the middle negative nine goes right below it, and negative seven is right above it. And it's an open circle since it was just less than, and then I need to determine which way to shade. Is it negative nine that's less than negative eight or negative seven? It would be negative nine. So I'm gonna shade towards the negative nine. Okay, number three, I have x divided by three is greater than or equal to negative five. So x is being divided by three, so I'm gonna do the opposite of that, which is multiply by three. So that operation cancels out, so x is isolated, and I get x is greater than, I have negative five times three, which is negative 15. Notice we did not flip the inequality sign here because the number I was multiplying by was positive. It doesn't matter that I had this negative here. This is what we look at to flip the sign. Since it was positive, sign stays the same. So now I need to graph this solution set. X is greater than negative 15. Negative 15 will go in the middle with negative 16 right below it and negative 14 right above it. That is a closed circle on negative 15 since it was greater than or equal to, and then it is negative 14 that is greater than or equal to negative 15, so I will shade towards that. Okay, number four, I have x minus 3.5 is less than negative 10.5. So I'm going to add 3.5 to both sides. That zeroes out and I get x, bring down the less than or equal to symbol, and then I need to do negative 10.5 plus 3.5. So these are different signs, so I'm going to keep the sign of the larger one, which is negative 10.5 and then I'm going to subtract. So I need to do 10.5 minus 3.5, which would be seven. So I get X is less than negative seven. And now I need to graph this solution set. X is less than or equal to negative seven. Negative seven goes in the middle with negative eight right below it and negative six right above it. I'm gonna have a closed circle on negative seven since it's less than or equal to. 
and is it negative 8 that's less than or equal to negative 7 or negative 6? It would be negative 8. So I'm going to shade towards the negative 8. Okay, let's look at number 5. I have 7x is less than negative 35. So all I have to do to get x by itself is divide by 7. And I get x is less than negative 5. I don't have to flip the sign since the number I was dividing by was positive. And now I just need to graph this. x is less than negative 5. Negative 5 will go in the middle with negative 6 right below it and negative 4 right above it. It's an open circle since it was just less than. And then let's determine which way to shade. Is it negative 6 that's less than negative 5 or negative 4? It would be a negative 6. So I'll shade towards negative 6. Okay, number six, I have x divided by two is greater than or equal to negative eight. So to undo that dividing by two, negative two, I'm gonna multiply both sides by negative two. And that will cancel out and I get x by itself. This time I do need to flip the sign since I'm multiplying by a negative. So x is less than or equal to, and a negative times a negative is a positive, and eight times two is 16. So x is less than or equal to 16 is the solution set. 16 will go in the middle, 15 is right below it, and 17 is right above it. It'll be a solid circle on 16. And is it 15 that's less than or equal to 16 or 17? It is 15. So I'm going to shade towards the 15. Okay, number seven says the sum of a number and seven is more than 11. So I need to write the inequality sign. Remember, sum means addition. We'll let a number mean x, and then seven is more than 11. So the sum of the number x and seven is more than 11. There's our inequality, and now we can solve for x. So I need to undo the plus seven by subtracting seven from both sides. And I get x is greater than 11 minus 7 is 4. So now I'm going to graph this solution set. x is greater than 4. 4 will go in the middle with 3 right below it and 5 right above it. It's an open circle since it's just greater than. And is it 3 that's greater than 4 or 5? It is 5, so we'll shade towards the 5. All right, number eight, the product. So multiplying a number, we'll let a number mean x, and three is at least 24. So a number x and multiplying it by three would be three x at least means that it could be equal to or greater than. So at least is greater than or equal to negative 24. And then to solve this, I would divide both sides by three. And since I'm dividing by a positive, the sign stays the same. So this becomes x is greater than or equal to negative eight. So negative eight will go in the middle of my number line with negative nine right below it and negative seven right above it. I'll have a closed circle on negative eight. And is it negative nine or negative seven that makes the inequality true? it would be negative seven that is greater than or equal to negative eight. 